Hi, everybody. I've been expecting you. Come on in. Everybody here? Welcome back. Good to see each of you. And you too. Mr. Green, what are you working on? Well, I've been trying to fix this airplane. Brittany, would you hand me that piece there? Oh, thank you. Oh, Evan, look at that. Look how the plant is turning colors there. Wow. Well, thanks for coming over, guys. Sorry this place is such a big mess, but we're going to have fun. Adventures are something we'll always share. So, did everybody have a good week? Yeah, I did. Remember when we prayed about my mom having the baby? I sure do. Well, she sure did. Twice. You're the brother of... Twins? Congratulations, Evan. <laughs> you know, that's like the Bible verse I've been memorizing. It's in the Old Testament where God says to Jeremiah, pray to me and I will answer you. That's in Jeremiah 33, 3. Can all of you say that? Pray to me and I will answer you. That's right. Very good. Mr. Green, what exactly is prayer anyway? You don't know what prayer is? Well, my dad says his baseball team hasn't got one. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad, Brittany. There are lots of people who really don't know what prayer is. Besides, I've seen your dad's baseball team play, and he may be right. <laughs> Actually, prayer is a very, very simple thing. It is? Mm-hmm. Prayer is simply talking to God. But how do you know you're talking to God? And how does he know? I mean, if you can't see him or anything. Ah, now, there's a good question. So tell me, Prayer Bear, does that sound just a little bit familiar? Are you going to read them one of my stories? I think now would be a good time, don't you? All right! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Ah, here we go. These are the adventures of Prayer Bear. And this is the one about the very first time I ever met a very special boy, Stephen James. You see, back then, Stephen James had some of the very same questions that Brittany has. Only his were about looking for a friend. That's right. And things got kind of exciting there for a while. It all started when he first moved into his new home. But it wasn't new like just built new or you can still smell the new carpet or fresh paint new. No, this home was many, many years old. It was only new because the boy and his mother had just moved in. Now, as everyone knows, 
When you first move into a home, there are millions of boxes and all kinds of things to explore. The world-famous explorer and archaeologist enters the long-lost diamond mine hidden in the enormously wild wilderness. Who knows what horrible beasts are waiting to gobble him up? <laughs> Not to worry. Nothing scares the great explorer. He's been sleeping without a nightlight for almost a week now. See? I knew there was nothing to be afraid of. Nothing but these old towels and this... this... furry thing. Mom! Mom! What is it, sweetheart? Are you all right? There's a bear in there. He's big and furry hand and big, and he growled at me. <laughs> a bear? I'm sure it's just your imagination. It's probably just a... just a... It is a bear. I told you. Be careful, Mom. Well, will you look at this? I haven't seen Prayer Bear in years. What bear? Prayer Bear. Your Grandma Walker gave him to me when I was a little girl. He was a reminder for me to pray. But he growled at me. Oh, honey, he's only a stuffed bear. Funny, though, when I was your age, I used to think he could talk. Hmm. Well, here you go. For me? Thanks, Mom. Now you two go out to the backyard, so I can get a few more of these boxes unpacked before supper. But there's nobody to play with. All my friends are back home. Sweetheart, this is home now. Then where are my friends? There are plenty of children in the neighborhood. In fact, I thought I saw a bicycle in the front yard just next door. Now scoot. But, Mom... You and Prayer Bear play outside. I'll call you when your father gets home for supper. All right. Wow. It's a jungle out there. I just hope there's not a lot of tigers and lions out here. I hate getting eaten up, especially just before supper. Amen, and me too. What? What? What was that? What was what? Who said that? I don't know. There's nobody here but us. It's you. It's me. Oh, it's me. You talk. So do you. Wow, what else can you do? Can you fly or have x-ray vision or bend iron with your bare paws? <laughs> no, can you? Of course not. Are you gonna be my boy? Hmm? If I'm gonna be your bear, are you gonna be my boy? Sure, I guess. Why not? Hey, maybe you can help me find a friend. What am I, asparagus? <laughs> I mean a friend who's not all stuffed with fluff. You're not real, remember? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I forget. But you can still help me look if you want. Okay. Hello? 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 What are you doing? Your mother said there might be a kid next door. What if she's wrong? What if nobody's there? What if she's right and somebody is? Just because Mom saw a bike over there doesn't mean... Did you see that? Could just be the wind. The wind? Yeah, maybe there's like a, a baseball tree. Yeah, maybe the wind just sort of blew one of the baseballs off. They 
baseball tree? I didn't know baseball's one season this time of year. Oh! Somebody's over there. I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? You haven't seen anyone. I have faith. Faith? Sure. It's just like when you pray. You don't see God, but you know he's out there when you pray to him. That's different. God doesn't play baseball. But he makes the sky blue, and the wind blow, and the trees grow, and... and... There's somebody over there. I know it. Come on. Where's your faith? Come on. You only need faith as big as a tiny mustard seed. For nothing is impossible for those who will believe. I'm stuck. You know what we forgot? What's that? We forgot to pray. Now would be a good time. Whoa. So what do you think? Is there somebody on the other side of the fence? Yeah. How can you be so sure? He didn't see anybody over there. The ball came back, and his mom saw the bicycle. Is that enough? Yeah. Kind of like God. We may not be able to see him, but we see things he does, so we know he's there. Good. And do you remember what God says? Pray to me and I will answer you. Jeremiah 33, 3. Whoa, that's right. And now that Stephen James has finally gotten around to praying, let's see what happens next. Ah, here we go. And then he began to pray. Dear Lord, please help me to find a friend. And maybe you can kind of get me unstuck, too? Thanks, God. Amen. Amen. And me, too. Great. A lot of good, that. <coughs> Did? Hey. Hey, yourself. What did you do to my fence? I don't know. What did I do? Wow, a secret passageway. Yes, yeah, sort of, I guess. Hey, do you play baseball? Yeah, I sure do. Cool, me too. Tiffany, come on, honey. We need to get to the store. Well, I gotta go. I guess we'll see you. I guess. Oh. Here. Keep this till I get back. 
It was so neat, Mom. There's this secret passageway right in the fence, and there's this girl, and she plays baseball, and she can really throw, and it came right to me, and, and she let me keep the ball, and... See? I told you you'd find some new friends here. This place will feel like home in no time. Now, get some sleep, sweetheart. We have another big day tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Say your prayers. Good night. Good night, Mom. I thought you said the great explorer didn't need a nightlight anymore. He doesn't. I do. Oh. God really answered my prayer today, didn't he? He sure did. Good night, Prayer Bear. Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? You didn't tell God good night. Oh, yeah. Right. Dear God, thank you for helping me meet my new best friend today and my new best bear. Oh, and God, thanks for hearing my prayers. Amen. Amen, and me too. <laughs> so what did we learn from the story? God is really there to listen when we talk to him. And we don't even have to see him. Good, like Tiffany on the other side of the fence. We may not be able to see God, but we know he's there. And if we have faith and ask, he will answer our prayers and give us what is best for us. Because, what was God's promise again? <laughs> Pray to me and I will answer you. Boy, you guys are good. <laughs> and why do you suppose God made that promise? Because he's God. That's right. To show that he's the only true God. And you know, there's another reason too. God made that promise to us because He loves us, and He's our friend. God is our friend? Right. And like a good friend, He'll always be there when we need Him. In fact, do you remember the story about Daniel in the lion's den? How the king threw Daniel into that den with all the lions and locked him in there for the whole night? Yeah. Anybody remember what happened? Daniel prayed, and God shut the mouths of all the lions. And why do you suppose God did that? Because he was Daniel's friend. Exactly. And you know something else? He wants to be our friend, too. Really? You, me, we can all become best friends with the creator of the whole universe. Even me? Sure. That's why Jesus came down from heaven to earth. Because he wanted to make a way for us to be his friend. Have you ever wished that you could have a friend? Who's always there and who is not pretend I know a someone who Really wants to be friends with you When you pray, he listens When you cry, he hears He feels your sadness when he sees your tears He's close to you and me and he says that he always will be He is someone you can talk with He's a friend that you can really get to know He is someone you can walk with Cause he's with you wherever you go He has many names because he does great things He's the Alpha and Omega and the King of Kings Yet he still has time to be A friend like no other to me He is someone you can talk with He's a friend that you can really get to know He is someone you can walk with Cause he's with you Wherever you go Someday you'll see him face to face When you knock on heaven's door 
You'll look into his eyes and know he's someone you have met before. So if that you could have a friend who's always there and who is not pretend. God is that someone who really wants to be friends with you. He's that someone who loves me and you. All right, does everyone remember the verse we've been talking about? Pray to me, and I will answer you. Great. Just like Stephen James in the hedge, and just like Daniel in the lion's den, when we pray, God will answer, because... Because He loves us, and He wants to be our friend. Excellent. Say, before you all go home, let's take a few moments and talk to our friend, shall we? Dear God, thank you for a great time. Thank you for telling us about prayer. But most of all, thank you for being our very best friend. In Jesus' name, amen. And me too! <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you guys help me clean up? Okay. All right, thank you. Prayer Bear is a cuddly character, I know. Prayer Bear loves to come along everywhere I go. Yes, I do! He's there, reminding me God cares and He answers when we pray. Prayer Bear may be little and only stuffed with fluff, but Prayer Bear knows a lot about faith and all that stuff. He says, All things are possible when you start. Trust in, in the Lord with all your heart. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Anytime. And come back soon, will you? Sure. All right. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget your coats. Adventures are something we'll always share. That's why we will always love prayer. Bear. Don't forget Stephanie.